What's up guys? Welcome back to Pete's Carport and yes, another review of a Harbor Freight tool. So this time I went down and picked up a Harbor Freight shop vac. Now there are a couple of them that they sell from what I see online. I'm going to show you guys the exact one that I picked up and I'm going to show you guys it in action. So stay tuned. This is going to be a really cool video on how to use or how good the Harbor Freight shop vac is. Of course, we're going to need a vehicle to test out this shop back on. And what better way to do it than on my 2003 Range Rover HSE. And this is the cheapest one that I could find in the United States at $2,500 with only 122,000 miles. And yes, it did come with those rims. If you guys are finding this video out a different way, go back and check out that video. I'm going to link it below, but it goes through the entire car. I'm not going to do that today. So the best thing about testing it out on this vehicle is it's my daily driver and also my dog hauler. So a lot of their hair is in the back of there even though they've only been in here quite a few times since I just got this car not too long ago. But since the daily driver has been raining every day, the inside of this car is going to be an awesome way to test out this shop vac. And the one that we're going to be testing out today is the Central Machinery 5 gallon wet dry vacuum blower. So, like I said, there's a couple other ones at Harbor Freight. I'm going to link this one below, and this might be the one that you are specifically looking to buy. I picked it up for $39.99, and I think I even had a coupon that brought it down a little bit lower. I'll let you guys know exactly what I paid and the coupon that I used. I'll link that below, too. It might work. It might not work because some of those coupons expire, but I would always check back with Harbor Freight for a 20% off discount because those are almost always going around, and you can usually use those on any single item like this. So let's go ahead and unbox it now. I've already got, went ahead and grabbed my, um, my knife, and we're going to go ahead and slice it open. So let's do this live because I have not even looked at this box yet. I did see the display at the store, but I'm not sure exactly how it's boxed and what comes in the box. So let's go ahead and cut it open. This way you guys can see exactly what to expect when you open up yours. And you can kind of get a pre-purchase with this. So uh, you're going to go ahead, this is the owner's manual. I'm going to toss that off to the side. There's probably not much to putting this together. Uh, on the sides here, it looks like we've got our hoses. So I'm going to set those down, pull those out. Looks like it's nicely wrapped. Pretty much everything at Harbor Freight comes uh, de decently packaged in my opinion. And you've got quite a few extension hoses here is what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and pull our actual vacuum out. Take a look at it. Looks like they got the hose bundled up on the side here. They wrapped it in plastic. Um, and it looks like there's probably gonna be some wheels that go on the bottom there. And it looks like they pretty easily attach. So let's go ahead and look in the box, nothing there. So my guess is they're gonna be inside of here it's pretty common on these go ahead and lift that yep so our extension hose which looks pretty nice and long so it's not a really short hose which is nice looks like we've got our um our bags here and the wheels are right there and there's a caster wheels and it looks like these are the plastic clips that attach to the bottom so pretty self-explanatory so I went ahead and laid out the bottom of the vacuum along with everything that was on the inside here and I opened up the instructions to kind of walk you through some of the basic setup procedures. So if any of you at home maybe picked one of these up, you lost the instructions, can't find anything about it, or if you're at home and you're just wanting to skim through a video and not have to read these instructions, maybe they confused you, I'm that type of person, I would much rather watch a video. Basically, this is that setup. So. You open, you get your caster wheels out and you open up the bag and inside you're going to have another little bag with screws in it. So the little um, pieces that were inside on the bottom, these are going to slide on, on each one of these corners very easily. They have a guide that goes through and then a screw, one of those screws is going to go right in there. So I went ahead and tied that one up there with a screw. Then you can just grab your caster wheel and those are just going to pop on. And basically, because they've got this groove here, they're going to stay in and not fall out. So there's no other type of screw or anything in case you got confused on that. So let's move on. Now, these things can confuse you because you've got two different bags. So if you flip open your directions, if you've got them to page six, it explains that you're going to want to put this um, filter here, which is going to be your sponge filter, onto the 
section right here. So if you have uh, this part off to the side, that right there is gonna be, that's gonna slide onto. And that's gonna go on um, pretty much no matter how you're doing this. Now, if you're doing the uh, wet vacuuming, you do not want to use either one of these bags. If you are dry vacuuming, you have a choice. There's are two different types of bag. So this one here is going to be your cloth bag and your paper bag. This is, uh, from what they're saying, is a dust bag. So this is if you're getting uh, like really fine particles of dust. Um, that's going to keep that out. I am going to go ahead and use this one here. I prefer this style bag because I'm mostly going to be vacuuming out vehicles and not fine dust particles like sawdust. So this would be like a sawdust type bag. Um, these are pretty self-explanatory. These are going to attach to the bottom of your extension poles. This is for getting, we're going to be using this one. This is for getting in the crevices. I will test this one out on the back. I highly doubt it's going to do a whole lot of work on that dog hair. Um, and usually I just end up using this all on the back area, even though it's a little more tedious, uh, that works a lot better. So that kind of breaks that down. Quickly, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, you ha should have three extension bars. Now, that's up to you how long you want to make that because this hose is pretty long. Actually, let me go ahead and look at exactly how long that hose is. So according to the box, that's a six foot six hose. Also, you have about eight foot of um, cord coming off the back here. So that's pretty nice. Sometimes you get these things and they've got like a two foot cord on them. So you have no choice but to use an extension cord because you really can't even maneuver it anywhere. I've had those types and I go to grab it, I run outside and I don't have an extension cord and I'm trying to figure out how I'm even gonna use it. So that's nice that they actually put a nice longer cord on there. One more thing I wanna point out before we get this set up and start using it. If you're using the, uh, the wet cycle on it, you do have a drain right here. So that is really nice. So this can be used as a wet or dry vac. Um, and then also, the uh, if you want to, if you come down here and look at this here, this is gonna give you uh, more of the specs. But I believe what I looked up to is a two and a half horsepower motor. So not the most powerful motor. It does have a five gallon uh, filler. So if you need to suck up a decent amount of stuff, whether it's liquid or uh, dry stuff, you do have that. And it does have a float valve um, for overfilling. So that is nice too. So not, not the most powerful vacuum on the market, but for the price, it's cheaper than any one that's comparable that I saw at Lowe's or Home Depot, especially with the coupons you can get at Harbor Freight. All right, so that's kind of a quick walkthrough on this vacuum and how you set it up. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys how it works inside the car. Okay guys, so a real quick breakdown on these filters because they can be confusing. Basically, your foam filter goes on no matter what you're doing, wet, dry. If you're continuing to do dry and not wet, you want to uh, slide this filter on and now you have the choice. If you're not doing fine dust particles, then and you don't worry, you're not worried about um, emptying this out. This would be your paper filter, and this is the one that you're going to actually throw away or empty out. I think you have to throw it away and re and you can't reuse it. But that is going to slide onto your incoming dirt. So basically, the way that this works is your hose hooks up here, your air sucks in through here, and then ventilates back out through this. So you're going to have these filters on here as a post filter to keep that dust from and dirt and debris from flying back out. So as long as you're not getting super fine particles, this will work fine and you can actually just dump this right into the trash or into a bag. So you kind of have those ways that you can do it. I wanted to make sure you understood it. I'm going to be sliding this on, putting it back together. We're not using our paper filter today at least. I highly suggest that if you're doing sawdust and fine particles. Outside of that, it's not necessary because you can dump that out and use that as a trash can. All right, let's get set up. All right, guys, since I'm doing this live, I obviously forgot one other awesome feature of this. It is a blower as well. So you've got an input and an output. Like I was talking about just a second ago, those filters are so important, mainly due to the fact that you want clean air going out. You don't want to be blowing the dust that you've put into the actual shop vac back out. But if you're going to use the blower, I suggest you actually empty out your tub before using it. Um, also wanted to mention, this is actually really nice compared to some of the other shop vacs I've used. It's really easy. I can do this one hand while recording. You can actually just push this in and turn it. Now it's locked in. So this would be our vacuum side and it is marked and this would be our blower side. So if we go in here and we keep that other side open, we're actually going to get a blower. If we put it in the other side, we're gonna get vacuum. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys real quick 
what we're working with here. So this is my daily driver. As you can see, it's been raining almost every day here. We finally got a dry day. And I've got lots of nasty dirt and grime and all that stuff right up in there. And then in the back, we've got some uh, dog hair. So let's go ahead and do a quick demo for you guys. And then I'll also do a demo of the blower working. And I'll show you guys how easy it is to empty out. So let me go ahead and turn this on and I'll show you guys how it picks up. Okay, it's on. It is a little loud. Not anything out of the norm as far as sound goes. I went ahead and added our attachment here, which works great for getting in the crevices. And let's just go and see. That's actually really good. So as you can see, it's picking that dirt right up. And it's got pretty good suction power, guys, for a small horsepower motor. And I did pay $39.99 with the coupon, like I said earlier. It's $49.99 base price. And this thing is doing as good of a job as any of the ones that I've used at the uh, gas stations or the car, car wash places. So if you're looking to save some money by not having to bring your car up there and need a, a vacuum for the house, this would be a good one. Okay guys, so I have to say I'm very impressed for this uh, inexpensive vacuum. It sucked up all that debris, all that sand, all that nasty stuff. And um, you could feel it had a very good uh, amount of pressure and suction. So let's now move on to the back and use our other attachment and see if we can get this dog hair up. Now there's not a ton of it because I've only taken the dogs out once or twice. It is dirty back here, so we will get some demonstration. But you can see here there's uh, dog hair all along here. Let's see if we can get that up using that other attachment. Okay guys, so this attachment just slides right on just like the other one. It does have a nice uh, bristle. It's a, oops, sorry about that. It's a nice little bristle end and it does swivel. So that is nice. It can get into like the other areas really nicely. Now, you can also use those other attachments on here so you can use this to get into, uh, you know, harder to reach places. Let's go ahead and flip it on and see if we can get this dog hair up using this brush attachment. Well guys, I do have to say I'm extremely impressed. This little brush thing here, it's either um, attaching the dog hair to that bristle there, which you can easily wipe off, or it's actually suctioning it up, because if you look right here in this area I did, it picked that dog hair right up without ease, with ease, without any trouble, basically. And if you look in this area here, there's still some dog hair. Like I said, the dogs have only been in here a couple times, but they have left their uh, traces. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this whole thing done. I'm gonna show you guys that, but we're gonna move on also to the blower side of this thing. All right, guys, so the combination of the brush attachment and this attachment here, it came out really, really good. Now, I just did it quickly, but you can see it got almost all the hair up just through that first one pass. So um, definitely passes uh, my approval on that one as well, too. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to empty out. It's pretty much like most um, shop backs out there. But being a little bit smaller, you can see the dirt we got up in there. It makes it a little easier. Now, once you detach that right there, the cord's gonna stay, so you have the freedom of moving this around. And now, you can just dump this into a bag or straight into your garbage. And now we can move on to actually testing out the blower side of it. So let's go ahead, I'll get that set up and I'll show you guys how that works. Okay guys, so this is really the last demonstration I'm gonna do and I'm already loving this machine. So um, I went ahead and attached all three extension attachments to kind of demonstrate it for you to get see if we have still power. I hooked it up into the blower side. We're gonna turn it on. I went ahead and set up, I didn't have any dirt or debris around so I went ahead and put some grass down that I just pulled up from the grass area over there. And let's just see how well it blows. So, not powerful at all. 
With that said, I do have to say, this fails as a blower. But, as a vacuum for $39.99, I honestly don't think you can beat it. I've used um, $80, $90 vacuums from Home Depot and Lowe's. Nowhere in comparison to the way that this thing is put together, the power of it, and the uh, all the things it came with, the just the way that it functions. It rolls around really easy. It has a nice long cord, nice long attachment, and it, it actually picks up dog hair, which is a, one of those tough ones. So, blower, it failed. It actually sucks, like, ironically. So the blower side of things, it didn't even really push the grass off the cement there. So do not pick this up if you're looking for a decent blower. Harbor Freight sells. Um, another blower that I've actually picked up. I don't know the exact uh, brand of it or name of it, but it's gr it's like a lime green color. The thing has comes with a bag attachment. I'll do a review on that too. I've been using that one for quite a few years. I'll post a picture of that now on the screen. And I think you can pick that one up for like 40 bucks as well. That one is absolutely phenomenal if you're looking for a blower vacuum, that type of thing for outdoor usage. So highly suggest that. Highly, highly suggest this if you're looking for a shop vac, whether you're cleaning your car out, cleaning crevices in your house, or just need something to um, keep in the garage so that you can every once in a while vacuum up corners outside and so forth. Once again, my name's Pete. This is Pete's Carport. Hope you guys liked the review. And like I said, if you want to look at a full review of the 2003 $2,500 Range Rover, Look down below for the link. I'll link the vacuum. I'll go ahead and link that blower that I was talking about that I put up on the screen. And I'll be doing a full review on that in the future. So stay tuned and look forward to that. Have an awesome week, guys. Thanks again for tuning in, liking, subscribing, and sharing.